when I'm talking to people about how you can grow co-production, um, the sort of the stages that I talk about are going out there, getting known, building the relationship, have cups of tea, spend time with people so that you can build those relationships, so that you can start to um, trust each other and understand where each other's coming from, and then you can start to grow ideas together. And then this is where it gets a little bit tricky because obviously everybody's got different perspectives and different drivers and needs and all sorts. Um, and, and quite often, even when you've got a shared vision, everybody's got a slightly different interpretation of it. You yeah, know, it's just like life. So it never goes, let me get the things away because you know on the screen. It never goes like that. And it never even goes like that. It goes yeah, <laughs> like this. And that's the bit that can be um, challenging for some people because, you know, on one hand, you do have to kind of just, you know, ride with it, run with it, um, and knowing that it, know at times that it's going to be messy. Um, but if you all understand each other and have that relationship and you've all got that sense that you do want to work through those bits to get to the next, next point, then it's only going to be the stronger for it because they're the, those challenging moments the way you really start to test out the nitty gritty of what it is that you're trying to get to. Um, but for people who aren't used to that, that can be a little bit intimidating because at those moments, it might feel like it's going off track or um, it might feel that, you know, people are really starting to butt heads a little bit, but actually you just need to work through that conflict. 